In today's video, we're going to dive into playing double stops and how you can achieve a clear, crisp sound while playing double stops. Stick around to the end of the video. You don't want to miss this quick tutorial. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across this YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit those bell notifications. That way, when new videos come out, you get notified. Double stops are not as tricky as you may think. If you're a beginner watching this video, we're gonna dive in to how to play nice, clean double stops. Let's start with the A and the E string. And if you're a beginner, you probably watch a couple videos or you have your teacher talk to you about um, the, the level of your, your bow and your right arm on going from each string. However, today we're going to just focus on maybe the E, A, and D string. Not, maybe not so much the G and D string just because it requires a little bit more weight. And if you're a beginner watching this video, you'll find a little bit more success. So we're going to put our bow on the E string. And we are going to go all the way over to the D string. And the reason why I'm starting on the D and the A string is so that you don't experience any squeaky sounds. And this is gonna save you a lot of trouble, it's gonna save you a lot of hassle. And if you understand the basic concepts of the D and the A string double stop, then playing on the A and the E string is really not gonna be a no-brainer. So on the D and the A string, we're gonna go over to the D, and imagine that the string is kinda of like a pencil. A pencil has different um, different sides to it and what I like to tell my student in general that a string has three sides it has a left has a top and it has a right side and Whenever you're playing a double stop you want to emphasize The bottom string more than you do on the top string unless the composer in the music specifically Says to focus on the top note or the top string. I always recommend that you do put more emphasis and more weight of the bow on the lower string. So in this case, we're gonna do D and A. And let's do, do a basic third. Let's break it down. Let's put our third finger on the D. That's our G. And, and we're gonna do a B, first finger on A. And we're gonna slightly put the elbow down so we can achieve achieve a nice, beautiful sound. This is mostly for intermediate and advanced students. And what we find that we sometimes press too much because we're trying to get all the strings at once and we get this really scratchy sound. However, that is not the objective. The objective is to get a nice resonant sound with good tone. And if you understand the balance of your bow, if you understand how to hold it, and in my previous video, I also explain on how to pull the bow, getting a nice, clean sound when it comes to articulation. I'm gonna leave a link, a YouTube card right up there, so that way you can pause this video and you could watch that video if you want to. All in all, very quick tutorial. I mean, you wanna make sure that you emphasize the lower string over the upper string. So let's try on the A and the E string now. And I'm gonna put my bow on the right side of the string and I'm gonna play alongside my A and my E string but notice how I'm not playing more on the E string I want to make sure that I use more of the lower string also naturally our ears are going to are gonna capture that upper register note and upper register string a lot more so than on the bottom so we want to make sure that we put more emphasis on the bottom so over here we're gonna do our D, third finger on A, and our first finger on A, excuse me, first finger on E, and F sharp. Another way, a bonus tip, is that you can start on the bottom string and then slowly put your elbow down to get to the E string. And if you do it correctly and you pull the bow, in a certain way, you're gonna get a nice, beautiful resonance sound. And especially with thirds, you want nice resonance. You want to achieve as much resonance as you possibly can. So try it slowly, use slow bow. Not too slow where you're gonna experience a very scratchy sound. Sometimes beginners will oftentimes, 
they'll put the bow too slowly, you want to make sure that the bow is smooth. And if you do it correctly, then the other strings are going to resonate on your instrument. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to play a double stop. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notifications. That way, when new videos come out, you get notified. Also, it helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.